this Super Tuesday, the results are coming in from the presidential race to the top two vote getters in the race to fill the open U.S. Senate seat right here in California. I want this U.S. Senator job. And I want to do the job for you because you deserve it, because you're great California. You helped us build the biggest grassroots campaign for Senate in California history, and I cannot thank you enough. It is official. Congressman Adam Schiff will advance to the general election against political newcomer Steve Garvey in the race to fill the Senate seat once held by the late Diane Feinstein. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Meebeck. And I'm Julie Hainer. Let's get right to the latest numbers coming into the KTVU newsroom tonight. Right now, as you can see, Democrat Adam Schiff has 36 percent of the vote, while Republican Steve Garvey has 29 percent of the vote. They are the top two vote getters, beating out Democratic Congresswoman Barbara Lee and Katie Porter. We have live team coverage of the California Senate race. KTVU's Christina Rendon is standing by live in Oakland, where Representative Lee held a campaign event tonight. But first we go to our Janet Katsuyama. Janet Garvey and Schiff both celebrating a big win tonight. Yes, you can see by the numbers that they really pulled out ahead of the other two uh, main candidates. But although tonight is a primary, some people saw Republican Steve Garvey surge tonight as paving an easier path for Schiff instead of forcing him to battle another Democrat in November. Both Garvey and Schiff spoke this past hour as well as Porter and there were actually some protesters you'll hear interrupting Schiff. I congratulate Congressman Schiff for joining me in the general election. Speaking on election night, just and after the polls closed, former L.A. Dodgers baseball player Steve Garvey pitched his come-from-behind campaign as a win for moderate California Republicans. Well, we feel good about where we are right now. I'll say tonight it's the first game of a doubleheader. Uh, the second game is going to be daunting. It'll be almost like a Super Bowl over the next uh, uh, fourth quarter or, or eight innings. Uh, but I think it should be exciting. But with results still coming in and in a state where Republicans haven't won a Senate seat since 1988 and Democrats outnumber Republicans two to one, a runoff between Garvey and Democrat Adam Schiff seems more likely to clinch the seat for Schiff in November. Schiff spoke from his campaign party in Southern California after polls closed. It looks like we're going to the general, ladies and gentlemen. My great gratitude to all of my wonderful supporters. I want to acknowledge the right of our protesters, and I look forward to working with you all and onward to victory in November. Schiff cast his vote in Burbank earlier in the day. The Southern California congressman with Bay Area roots in Danville and Stanford University continued campaigning on Election Day, meeting business owners in downtown L.A.'s Grand Central Market. His sights set on November with strong endorsements by Speaker Emerita Nancy Pelosi, labor unions and the L.A. Times. He had this to say Tuesday. I really think Californians are looking for someone in the Senate that can take on the big fights when it's necessary, but knows also how to deliver, how to bring back resources to California. His closest Democratic competitor, Congresswoman Katie Porter, who voted over the weekend in Irvine, cast her campaign as a progressive one, one that didn't take money from PACs and was endorsed by Senator Elizabeth Warren and the San Francisco Chronicle. We know that tonight we will come up short. Let me also say this. Our opponents, through everything, every trick, millions of dollars, every trick in the playbook to knock us off our feet. But I'm still standing in high heels. That was Porter earlier tonight. Her campaign had said that she plans to still hold a meeting tomorrow with members of the United Auto Workers Union, which endorsed her campaign. It will be interesting to see Mike and Julie where she comes out on uh, this race tomorrow by the light of day.